What's up guys, Lippy here. I just wanted to do a quick uh, build and boss guide video for Nightweaver, who is found in Losum and it's in the Tormented Asylum. As soon as you turn into the heart, uh, turn in the heart to the Nightweaver um, down below, you'll get transferred into this dream world and be able to uh, tackle this boss. I'm using Hunter, uh, just for some visuals. So using Hunter Mark, you'll kind of see that in the video whenever she does the dive attack, kind of helps predict that a little bit. In certain situations vulcan turret awesome for the ads and just overall damage onk of power probability cord outcast ring blackout ring and black cat band i am using the silverback model handgun with the space crabs i just love these little things they're they're just great for just passive damage um, you don't have to aim and hit they're just awesome all around for ads and boss damage uh using the m1 long gun using witch fire witch fire was excellent as far as taking care of the ads as well she'll spawn ads throughout both of her phases phase one and phase two um you can line this up you can um predict when she's going to spawn the ads so once you pop this you're able to take care of all the ads with one shot hit f or whatnot swap back to your main gun and be able to load some shots into her uh, chest for the weak shot damage All right, guys, as soon as we get into the boss room, we're going to want to drop the Vulcan turret at the door. Let that uh, start getting some damage in. It is important to note, you want to kind of keep right. a distance with her. When you are in close proximity, she does have an additional attack where she will grab at your feet in this first phase. Kind of harder to predict, and boy, does it hurt. So she's going to fire these ice orbs at you. Um, very easy to dodge these. Just dodge left to right. If you dodge through, sometimes you'll get hit. She's going to run her biggest move set. She's going to kind of dig into the ground and run at you. You want it just like that. I missed that one, but you need to dodge through that. And then it's going to be a quick like one and a half second delay. She's going to slam into the ground and then you want to dodge through that. So it's always going to be a two dodge kind of attack um, when she's charging at you. Dodge through and then dodge out. So here we go again. Just like that. That is the hardest hitting move set i think she has at least in this phase um here are the ads i'm gonna fire witch fire kind of take care of those put the space grabs to the side so they don't really die to the fire and just continue to uh, dodge the ice orbs and get in as much damage as possible when she fires the little blob orbs um they're kind of finicky you usually just dodge to the side sometimes one will hit you but they don't do a ton of damage even on nightmare apocalypse difficulty probably a little bit different Listen to the sound cues on when she does the slam attack. So she'll dodge through you, which you'll dodge through her when she's charging at you, and then dodge out on the slam attack. All right, then once her health goes down, she's going to go into phase two. So you can either run up to her or get, um, you she'll like grab you and then you'll get teleported into here. I typically stay downstairs for this one. I drop the turret um, and I try to dodge through. She does have kind of the same timing as in phase one as far as that slam attack. It, obviously, visually, it's different and looks different, but she'll do like a long swipe at you and then kind of jump at you definitely stay away from the walls in this phase where you see she comes out of the walls she can grab you and pull you into the wall with it which is an instant one shot she also has a one shot where she will grab at your feet um when she's like close to you she'll glow blue a little bit if she does grab you there you are dead nothing you can do about that and you have to start she will periodically spawn uh the same kind of ticks and adds in this phase I just use Witchfire to take care of these. They'll help drop ammo. Um, some folks do have issues with ammo capacity um, in this phase. You can also run into her, like she'll be up in the ceiling right now, and you can get some pop shots in on her. I just didn't feel comfortable doing that because she's through that doorway. Yeah, right there, she tried to grab us through the wall. You want to stay away from the walls.
Yeah, the timing on those, I was doing really poorly this run, but the timing on those is very similar to her slam attack in phase one, although it looks different. She has the long leap. Yep, right there. Ice orbs, dodge out. Sometimes she'll do the ice orbs and dive at you, which usually you can get in the same dodge animation anyways. So here again, kind of bad, bad angle. She's upstairs. I thought about going up there, but we're just gonna take care of the ads here and wait for her to come back. When those uh, little ads explode on you, they hurt really, really bad. So I just didn't want to attempt, attempt it here. Yeah, right there she did the double where she does the ice orbs and then dives at you. That right there is the one shot where she's glowing. And if she grabs you, it is GG. Again at the wall, just trying to pull us in. I was so tired when I was running this one. But it goes to show you, even with uh, medium armor and uh, not much survivability, I'm not even using Challenger this run, you can still survive some of these attacks. Thank you all. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Thanks. Peace. I'm starting to think Clementine isn't here. So what now? Guess I'll just.